just mm -hmm. what it is that they are spraying. Yes, please. Uh, uh, there, there's very good scientific evidence from several lines of, uh, of investigations that what they're spraying is something called coal fly ash. Mm -hmm. When coal is burned, say in utilities that produce electricity, the heavy ash settles and the very fine ash goes up the smokestack except in Western countries, now it's required to be trapped electrostatically because it's, it's toxic. It's got a, it's a toxic nightmare. But this is the stuff that they're spraying. And it doesn't stay in the air. It, well, the, 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 where they're spraying is in the lower atmosphere, in the troposphere, which is uh, convective. In other words, it turns over and over and over. So those particles that are still suspended, you breathe them. Uh, that's inevitable. You don't even, the fine ones, you don't even have to breathe them. They can go through your eyes, through your skin. Uh, this is terrible stuff. Because and you can say that is nanoparticles? Nanoparticles, yes. yes. And um, the when the course when the stuff lands on the ground it's dark gray color and it absorbs sunlight and so it adds to global warming that's not all it does when it's sprayed into the uh air where clouds form which is where they spray it it retards the fall of rain the the pollutant matter just blocks the little droplets of water from coalescing and getting big enough, heavy enough to fall to earth. That's one thing. Then what it also does is it heats the atmosphere. It uh, still another thing, like clouds, it blocks heat leaving the earth. So these are all things that cause global warming, which then brings up the question, why would so many governments just they somebody you know somebody must have told all of the governments something the government leaders and they believed it without question because if they had told them the truth and told them about the toxic nature of coal fly ash i mean only an insane person would have agreed to allow that. I, I sometimes wonder what what is being told. My guess is, and and I don't know this, but uh, I'm I guess that what governments are being told, and this may come through some of the um, UN uh, documents, uh -huh. that that the the Earth is warming due to fossil fuel. And we have to do something about it. We have to prevent global warming. But humans, people, are, are too ignorant to, to deal with it. So we'll do it privately and quietly. Well, this is the biggest scam in the world because what they're doing is causing global warming. And they're blaming it on the CO2, the CO2 that you and I breathe out and the fossil fuel. And, mm -hmm. and so the more they act to prevent global warming by spraying, the more it heats up the earth, it they causes can. disasters. I mean, the clouds can, when they uh, are, they, they can't rain naturally because of all the pollution matter, but eventually, they become so saturated, they have to. And then you get downpours and you get storms. I mean, this is an assault on planet Earth and all of its inhabitants.